Hi guys, welcome to Brains on the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're oldie but goodie, thank you for staying tuned to your growth. So in today's video, I wanted to do a follow-up on one of my videos that I did recently. And this is about the mayor from St. Anne that actually used $80,000 of Jamaican taxpayers' money to build a facility to charge his Porsche. He claimed that he is going to get all of the money back. Quite frankly, I feel like taxpayers' money was the one that he paid for that Porsche that he has, not only the facility that he used to charge it, but I digress because people claim to say him did rich, real, 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 real rich before he went into politics. But no matter how you're rich, as soon as they enter politics, it seems like they turn into corruption and or them take taxpayers money and do what they want to do with it but i have a follow-up and integrity commission conducting raid at the saint anne Monti municipal corporation personnel from the integrity integrity commission are conducting a raid at the saint anne municipal corporation in saint anne's bay the gleaner understand that documents and computers have been seized the commission indicated that it intends to monitor the government's COVID-19 related expenses and contracts awards. The corporation have been under scrutiny over the installation of a charging port for the private Porsche motor car of St. Anne's Bay Mayor Michael Benevis and $46 million sanitation contracts for ports of Orcherius. Benevis has hit back at critics and I'm going to say what he has to say now. St. Anne's Bay Mayor Michael Benevis has labeled as bad mind detractors who have mounted a withering campaign against him since news broke of the reported $46 million COVID-19 expenditure on sanitization of the town of Ocherius and the $80,000 charging port installed at the municipal office to charge his Porsche motor car. At a press conference at the mayor's office on Tuesday, Benevis also hit out at the opposition spokesman and local government and community development, Natalie Netta, charging that she was ignorant of the municipal legislation. The embattled Autorius Division Councillor and Chairman of St. Anne Municipal Corporation has threatened legal actions, claiming he was liable by Netta's utterance. Benevis tried to distance himself from the multi-million dollar controversy, claiming that he was not part of the procurement process and had no details on the matter. He had absolutely no details on the matter and he is the mayor for that parish. What a controversy. What a perky. But he said that since controversy erupted over the project bill, he and his chief executive officer of the corporation, Rovell Morris, decided to withhold payment for the project until the matter is fully investigated. Morris is reportedly on leave after appearing at a parliamentary committee last week to answer questions related to two related to the two issues so he went to relate to talk about the port charging port station that was built and also the 46 dollars 46 million dollars that was used to do covid 19 cleanup in ocherius and he has been on leave since Benevis made it clear yesterday that he believed that there were sinister motives at the pl at play behind the public backlash. I believe that there is a little this is what he had to say. I believe that there is a little bad mind there. When I spoke to a minority leader in the council, I said, you're being bad mind about this particular one, and you guys have a history of being bad mind. Wow. I didn't know that actually holding you accountable before using taxpayers' money for BS was considered bad mind, but okay then. He added, the politicians have really turned the wheels on that particular one because he, this release from Natalie Netta is erroneous, he said, indicating that her accusations were not factual. 
Benevis has faced public criticism following the disclosure at Parliamentary Committee that a charging station was erected at taxpayers' expense at St. Al Municipal Corporation. The, store, the charging station has since been removed. But the mayor said that after the corporation failed to give him a vehicle last year, he paid about $12 million for the 2019 Kine e-hybrid car to replace his BMW X6. Yes, you heard him right. He said he did this to save taxpayers money. Wow. He insisted that he did nothing wrong arguing in fact, that he had saved the municipality expenses by using his own vehicle in pursuit of public work. There is nothing illegal about it, and I believe that I was doing something to essentially make the efficiency of the particular situation, but social media has taken on the other side of the story, Benevis said yesterday. However, he conceded that his actions were was immoral. Pressed by journalists about the reported expenditure of the sanitation work throughout the St. Anne capital, Benevis was unable to provide answers to the question posed by reporters. I don't know the details, he said. I don't know the details, he said, directed reporters to check with the Municipal Corporation Procurement Department. It, the $46 million was sent to TEF, Tourism Enhancement Fund, and once they set it down, I was so happy I, I jumped the gun, he said. I wanted to make sure that Ocherius was safe. The St. Anne has recorded 12 of Jamaica's 605 coronavirus cases. 12! And they gave this man $46 million to clean and sanitize when there were only 12 cases of corona in that parish. So what about all the other parish them will have hundreds of corona cases? Or how much millions them get for clean? Or how much money them get for thief? <coughs> Allegedly. I digress. Benevis reluctantly conceded that the report expenditure may have seemed high, but argued that the scale of report was expensive. There were 10 to 12 case areas, including the pier, the market, the shopping center, the main street, the parks, the centers, all over Fisherman's Beach, Fisherman area, and a lot of areas were done. It is now up to the various agencies that are there and the audit department and so on to tell you if value for money was there. Benevis said that he would await the results of a probe. Let the investigation take its course and the chips fall where they may. I don't want to be seen as tampering with the process, he said. And he don't want to seem like he has something to hide or amuse our taxpayers' money for foolishness again. But it said... It was revealed in a recent meeting in the Public Administration Appropriation Committee that $9 million was spent on sanitization and cleaning gates, doors, handles, door handles, and the Oshiria Spear. $9 million alone they can account for out of the $46 million they were given. Don't, this continues to happen where people are getting money and they're not doing what they're supposed to do with it. I am you all this FYI all the scandal that has happened under this um, party or this po party power uh, CMU scandal this all the scandals people are getting money and using it for foolishness but they claim Jamaica is poor. Anyways, comment what your thoughts are in the comment section. Do you think that they actually know where the rest of the money is and they just now don't want to say until everything come out and bust out when they do finish this audit? Do you think that they used $9 million to sanitize and they stole the rest? Um, what are your thoughts on this? Because I know what I think happened, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.